my name is Gretchen, founder of Balance to the Core. We're on a 30-day journey together. Woohoo! And we're on day number 22, so hopefully you're feeling fabulous and super mighty strong like a superhero. If you haven't done those previous workouts, hit that I over there and make sure that you are doing this as a progression, okay? And hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I'm on. Because after this challenge, I'm still coming on. I'm still going to give you great content. So work with me and join the community. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the goal of this 10 minutes is to give your body what it needs. So if you're feeling tight in certain places, hold the pose, enjoy the stretch. If you're looking to get a little bit more movement, just move your body. Like, listen, what does it need? You're going to give it. Okay, so let's take our hands behind our head and let's lift our elbows slightly. We're taking an inhale here. On our exhale, I want you to just flex the chest up without tucking the pelvis, and then we roll it back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Keep hugging that belly into your waistline, into your spine. Let's add a little knee lift with it. Maybe a little rotation with it. Just layering on here. Four more, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do some bridge lifts now. So lift it up and lower and articulate it down. And lift it up and down. Keep going, finding your rhythm, warming the body. Let's hold this next one up. Hold right here, and then we just lift and lift, just like we did before. Toe taps, we're now doing it in a bridge lift. Up, up. Good, four more, four, three, two, one. Come right here, lift your arms up, stretch your booty up, and reaching the arms behind you, we're gonna articulate it down. Stretch your legs nice and long. Give you a nice deep inhale as you pull those ribs in. Exhale, peel it up off the mat and stretch for those toes. Roll it all the way up through the spine here. Let those legs come wide. We're gonna take a spine stretch forward as you just dive it and roll it up. Use that belly. Your belly controls the movement. And then we're going to go into a little saw here. So rotate and stretch. Up. And rotate and stretch. One more each way. Good. Come to center and release it down. Turn to your stomach. Come here. Keep your legs heavy. We did our brush stroke yesterday, so let's add on to it today. So we're going to start with the regular basic breaststroke. First, let's just lift and lower, finding that inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we're going to add the arm reach. So we inhale, exhale, reach, inhale, lift, reach and lift. Keep going. You got one more here. And then we lower it down. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to click our heels like we did yesterday as well. And just squeeze at the heel to feel the seat connection. So as I pull my heels together, I feel more of my seat. And my pelvis just grounds into the mat like an anchor. Good. So we have all of these points on the mat to help us. And pretty soon we're going to have less points on the mat. So we want to remember what it feels like to really root into the mat for energy. Okay, now we're gonna add. So we're gonna squeeze the heels. We're gonna lift the chest. We're gonna stretch the arms long. And now as I pull back, I'm gonna squeeze into my heels and then maybe lift my knees a little bit. And then reach it. And squeeze in a little lift. Not so much where you're searing into your low back, just enough where you're stretching your back and squeezing your seat. And lift. And reach. And two, little coordination, right? <laughs> One more time. Woo. 
Ooh, and lower down. Good. Press it. Oh, how'd that feel? <laughs> A little funky. Good. Uh, and then come forward. So just remember, just add on when you're ready to add on. You don't have to go to the next progression. You can stay where it feels like you're getting enough of a challenge. So grab that mat. And as you grab it, you're going to start to use your hand muscles and less of your wrists. All right, let's do a little couple cats here. So we're just going to tuck, press the tops of your feet into the ground and your belly up to the sky. And then articulate the other way, opening the chest and feeling that marvelous stretch. Okay, keep that chest open. Reaching through the tailbone, reaching through the crown of your head. Always getting that two-way stretch. Two more. All right, then come to neutral. Tuck those toes under. All right, so find a really strong belly here. Draw your ribs, your belly, your, your chest. Pull them up into your spine. And we're going to take a nice deep inhale. And on your exhale, you're going to lift your knees up and just balance. Turn the creases of your elbows towards the front of the room. And really try to widen the upper back. Take it down. Take an inhale to prepare. And again, exhale, we're going to lift. And drop it down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift it. We're going to hold it there. Now, without letting the knees lift, I want you to give me a cat stretch like you did before. And then bring it back to a flat back and drop it down. Try it again. We lift. We exhale, scoop. We inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, scoop. And neutral, down. One more. Up. Scoop. Center, down, good. You need to get off those wrists for a second. Go ahead, we still have more. Okay, so from here, we're gonna lift up and we're gonna hold it. So remember, grab that mat. And now from here, what I want you to do is you're gonna lift one leg up and then drop it down. Other leg lifts. So we've done these sort of glute marches before, but the knees have been down, so you can always drop the knees if you want. Lift six. Notice how your knees lifting higher. Try to really keep it like an inch or two off the mat. Two more. Two. One. Lower down. Take a breather. Tuck those toes lifted up again. Now we lift the leg up. We stretch it long. We drop it down. We lift it up. Down and up. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, bring it down, drop it down. Send it back for a second. I want to talk to you for a second. So I want you to, as it gets challenging, really go back into those principles. Are you stretching your spine in opposition? Is your chest lifting off the floor? Are you gripping the mat with your hands? Okay. All of those things are here to help you. Your breath, all right? So work into those principles for a second set. Turn the creases of your elbows forward, lift up. All right. We lift this leg up. We stretch it long. We drop it down and lift. From the seat. Four more. Four. Get square. Three. Two. One, bend it in, lower down, drop it down, send it back. Good job. Ah. <laughs> nice work. So this is our super strength series. <laughs> you can do it. We're going to come up under our elbows, give those wrists a little break. All right, plank. Find your plank, okay? Get yourself settled. And just hold there and breathe. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take, I, right, this is my right hand here. I'm just going to turn the hand towards my left elbow. So all I did was turn in, and then I'm going to take my body over. And I'm going to find a nice, long, straight plank. You can stack the feet or keep one in front of the other. You're lifting the hips, lifting the waistline, lifting the ribs. We're going to take our top arm up. And we're just going to thread it through. So twist and come back up. And twist 
and good job. Four, three, and release it down. Sorry for the noise, switch sides if you're hearing that. It's always when I start recording, <laughs> stuff goes on out there. <laughs> Isn't that the way? Oh, sorry. You go to plank. All right, find your plank. All right, get good there. Pull everything in. Nice and long, two-way stretch. Everything working. Then turn your hand into your elbow. So it turns and it's right under your shoulder. Okay, one leg can be in front of the other, or you can stack them up. Really doesn't make a difference, whatever sort of feels right for you. Lift the hips, the ribs, the waist. Get connected and stretch. Twist. Get six total. Good, two more. Breathe. Good, and lower it down. Woo, nice job. Get some mermaid legs. I hope you're not hearing too much of that. I'm sort of distracted by it, but hopefully you're with me. All right, hip square. Oh, find squareness as much as you can in this position. Arm up by the ear. And then I want you to sort of stretch out of your spine and take it over. Oh, you could drop the elbow down if you'd like. Now stay here for a second, so it's important not to sag in the underside. You want to get stretch and length in that side as well. And then we come up and we go the other way. Do it again. Good. Excellent. Switch sides. Just settle it down and even just staying here. Great stretch for the hips. Ah, settle everything in. Center yourself. And over. So whenever this work gets challenging, you want to breathe deeper. You want to sort of, sort of embrace the craziness and see if you can find an enjoyment in it. So if you want to go back to this series later and try those series, when our knees were up and see if you can just sort of embrace the challenge. Make it feel fun and not dread and come to center. I know that completely changed the way I worked out. Come up nice and tall and let's just sort of take our body and circle it around. You know, dreading like, oh, plank, here we go, you know? And now I'm like, ooh, plank, reverse it. Let me see sort of how I can take this movement and really soften as much tension as I can. And I really have found myself get stronger faster. Good, come here and then just scoop it back and then open it up. So it's really all of it is mind games. You know, like we get to move, we're lucky we get to move. So how can we enjoy it more and make it more like play rather than, all right, I have to do my workout now, you know? How can we make it so it's like, yes, I get my workout now, I'm so psyched. And you might be there, and that's great, cool. You're exactly where I want you and come to center. But, you know, some of us, it's hard to get there, but it takes practice. 10 minutes a day is great. Seal those thighs or those hands together, take an inhale, exhale, pull the energy into your heart. Pull it in, pull it in. Everything that you just created, all that strength, take it in you. Yes. Good job today. You did phenomenal. We are moving right along, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.